So who saw that coming? Venezuelan gangs spreading, infiltrating throughout the country? No way. Not Venezuelans. Not gangs from other countries that come here illegally. Not a chance. They're here just for a better life. Right, Lips? They're here just for a better life. Not to take our way of life away. Not to just come and commit crimes and work for nothing. Just take it from people. Because that's what they do in their countries. That's why Venezuela is the way it is today. Recently, I saw a documentary on Venezuela. This guy just going there and checking whatever their cities are called that are super dangerous. And the people there are saying, oh, it's not so dangerous anymore. They have all left. I wonder where did they leave to? Isn't that amazing? Hmm? Isn't that amazing? Watch this video. Uh, criminals got cut, illegal immigrants. Identify, by the way, ID to be one of the freaking thugs that uh, committed a crime uh, over there in New York in Times Square. Hmm? Infiltrating. Gangs from other countries. Forget Salvatrucha from Salvador and forget MS-13. Venezuela now, guys. Fantastic. But yes, they're here for a better life. Awesome. Watch. Are you seeing that? Do you see that? It's spreading everywhere, guys. You got to be careful. You need to watch over your shoulders more than ever. Um, this keeps going. We're becoming a third world country. All right? So you'll need to just have your eyes peeled. It's happening. And yet, people around you, I'm sure you hear them. Oh, my gosh. We're terrible people because we don't want... Oh, no, they call them migrants. You don't want migrants. This nation was built on migrants. B.S. crap. It's not built on migrants. Migrants helped. This nation was not built by migrants. It was not built by black people. All right? It was all that crap. This nation was great before we came in. All right? And I know you're saying, well, migrants are not only the Spanish and the Chinese and the uh, Middle Eastern. I get it. You know, let's keep playing this game. Forget uh, Salvatruchas from El Salvador. Forget MS-13. No, now we got Venezuela gangs too, besides the cartels that are in here from Mexico. Chinese nationals in here and the, uh, yes, I'll say it, you them terrorists. From over there, them sand, sand dunes up there in the Middle East. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We are losing control. You all need to walk around watching your backs. Look over your shoulder. Don't let nobody tell you. Make you feel guilty. Oh, my God. I cannot believe you don't support illegal immigration. Oh, no. Better yet, they say migrants. Migrants looking for a better life. There is more of them now that are not here for a better life. They're here to just take what's yours. They're here to take what's yours. They don't want to work for anything. They want to take it. You already have it, so they're going to come and take it. Why would they not? They don't have IDs. They're not tied to anything. If they get, uh, if they get put away, they're out the next day, if not the same day. Then uh, they just lie about their name, move to another state. You know, it's um, it's out of control. It's getting serious. I keep telling you. I keep telling you. One of the migrant suspects now being linked to another crime. We're going to get another arrest in the beating of another the crime. NYPD officers in Times Square. And one of the suspects already charged in the case is facing more legal trouble. So we've seen a spate of some very brazen cell phone robberies in New York City that's been attributed to a Venezuelan gang called Tren de Aragua, which has its origins at a prison outside of Caracas. The number of the gang members escaped in September 2023 when the Venezuelan government raided the prison 
and a lot of them have come over within the surge of migrants from Venezuela. Isn't that freaking <laughs> scary? Right? They escaped from a prison when the Venezuela government raided that prison. And now they're here. That's fantastic. Right through that border. No paperwork, no nothing. Just coming like cats and dogs. But yet, many of us trying to come here legally, still waiting in line, paying a ton of money, right? We paid a ton of money to come to this beautiful nation. And um, I get messages all the time from people uh, saying that they hate it. You know, from all over the world, still waiting for documentation. Like recently, a plane that was more than half empty, this person recorded it. When everybody was seated, they went ahead and brought a bunch of illegal immigrants into that plane to take them to whatever the heck it is that we're taking them to. Spreading them all over the place. I keep telling you, 65% of Hispanics vote Democrat. But that's almost irrelevant now. It's, um, it's, it's many races that are coming through. Uh, and by the way, by the way, um, with them come different cultures, which of course you're going to hear, oh, we got to celebrate culture. Diversity is our strength. P.S. No, diversity is not our strength. Diversity is a strength. Uh, when you come here legally, when you come here and assimilate, first assimilate, diversity is our strength, crap. No, you know what happens? You go to a country, you assimilate, you take on their culture, you take on their beliefs, right? Because that's what you're going there for, because wherever you came from wasn't that great, did not work out that great, so you went to theirs. Once you're there, what you can do, if you wish, to your kids, your wife, you know, your very close-knit community, uh, you can find other migrants that are from your beliefs, from your culture, and you guys can go in a room or in a place and gather and share that, but don't go spreading it around. Don't go spreading it around. Don't spread the crap that you brought from other countries into the country that you migrate into. Don't. Don't spread your crap around. Keep it between yourselves. But I digress. This is what is coming in. Criminals. In the last fiscal year, there have been like 340,000 encounters at the U.S. southern border with Venezuelan migrants. Among those, Border Patrol has apprehended 41 trained Aragua gang members. Law enforcement says they are infiltrating cities in the United States and maybe forming alliances with gangs that are already established here. We're Isn't that insane? Look at that picture right there. Isn't that insane? It's from everywhere, right? This one happens to be Venezuelans because of the gangs. And now they're becoming allies to existing gangs that are already established. We need to be louder. Share this video. More people need to hear about this. Why? Not just so you can get upset that your country is being sold from under you, right? By treasonous uh, Democratic Party. No, not just for that. But so also they can be aware. These are criminals that are coming in. It's not all the smell of flowers every day. Whenever you see an immigrant, oh my goodness, look, they're coming from a country that they struggle so much. They try so hard to come here. No, they're not trying hard. They're criminals. Trying hard, do it the way I did it and how a lot of us have done it file paperwork, went to the consulate, you know, many of us got denied several times, or we're just waiting for documentation, we're here on a temporary visa, maybe a work visa, done right, so the people that actually are waiting here the right way, are going to have to wait even longer, again, share this video, because you need to make your family, your friends, your loved ones aware of what is happening, we are getting invaded. The word is invaded, invasion, by criminal thugs. That's all they're coming here to do, to destroy, to take. They don't provide anything, they just take. Let's go ahead and say they're only those, those countries are only like that because America meddle in their uh, situation over there. We are always meddling with other countries and because we always meddle with other countries, that's why they are hurting. Oh, how about this, guys? Try one day, by the way, those of you who talk like that and think like that, try 
uh, listing the things that the United States have done that is good. The only things that the United States does for these uh, asshole countries is all bad? No. A lot of those countries will not even eat if it wasn't because of the United States. A lot of those countries will not even exist if it wasn't because of the good heart of the United States. It's not all bad. They don't only leave the country. They don't migrate to other countries because the United States. No, they do it, especially now. And they're being told, come and take. We are the land of plenty. Go there. It's already built. It's already paid for. Just take it. If you disagree with me, go ahead. Disagree with me. But soon you'll see how right I am. Anyways, you get the point. You get the point. Share this video so at least you make other people aware of what's happening. You're not going to see this very much in the news. Uh, it's up to us to spread this word. It's up to us to at least make our people aware. Loved ones, friends, every, Americans. Make your people aware of what's happening. Share these videos, guys. I'm making these videos uh, because nobody else is. Nobody else is telling the truth on this stuff. And the ones that are, are being called names. Call me whatever you want to call me. Uh, I'm going to continue to make these videos. I'm going to continue to make these videos on the daily whenever possible. Share this video. Spread the word. If for nothing else, to make your loved ones, people you care about, America aware of what's happening. You need to watch over your shoulders. These criminal thugs are being spread around all over the United States. I'm going to continue to show these videos so that way at least you get to recognize these thugs. Protect your family. You're a man, protect your family. You're a woman, protect your family. Make your children aware of what's happening. They're not with you all the time. And those of you who support illegal immigration, you are traitors. You are American haters. You, what you are is virtual signaling to make your sorry lives feel better for some reason. You're ignorant. You're treasonous. You're treasonous. What you should do is go help over there like we used to. You know, I use my resources to help uh, in poor countries, Dominican Republic, Central America, Ecuador, Peru. I've used my resources. I don't bring them here. I go there and help them out. Whatever happened with missionary work, if you feel so bad about these people, you go there. You know why you don't do that? You know why you don't go to those countries and help? Not only because you're cowards. Um, but because really what you want to do is destroy this one. You want to destroy morality. You want to destroy the nuclear family. Uh, you want to destroy the Christian Judeo beliefs that have made this country great. Why? Because what you believe is in LGBTQXY2K. Uh, what you believe is that now women can just be men and men can just be women. And we're living in crazy times crazy times again i'm going to continue to make these videos share this video and uh help support the channel i'm going to continue to fight i'm going to continue to spread this word if for nothing else as i said to make this country aware of what's happening these thugs look over your shoulders they're not that nice anyway i'm done